Talofa, Malale, Bula, and welcome to Season 5, Episode 20 of Breakfast Bites by TeWovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on another cloudy Saturday morning, 22 April 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In Rugby Union, the Chiefs' title quest marches on after they rolled the Fijian Drua 50 points to 17 in the rain in Hamilton last night to bank another bo- bonus point win and strengthen their grip on top spot while extending their franchise record start in Super Rugby Pacific to eight unbeaten games. In a nod to the brilliant flair that they have injected into Super Rugby Pacific, Fijian Drua wing Ilaisa Ndroa Sese claimed the try of the match after an 80-minute counter-attack, 80-meter counter-attack, following an error on attack by the Chiefs. Other aspects of the Ndrua's work, though, left a lot to be desired before they tackled the Blues this weekend. The World Rugby Sevens Challenger Series in South Africa to uh, get into the HSB World Rugby Seven Series from next year sees in the men's semis Belgium versus Germany, Hong Kong, China versus Tonga, and in the women's semi finals, South Africa versus China and Belgium versus Poland. Go, Tonga, go! In rugby league, the Broncos dominated the first half, scoring three tries in nine minutes, and then held off a second half comeback from the Eels for a 26-16 win in wet and wild conditions in Darwin. Superman Payne Haas finished the game with 200 running meters, five tackle busts, and 17 tackles without any misses. The Eels scored two tries in the second half to get back into the game, but it wasn't enough to make up for a defensive horror show in the first 40, where they missed a total of 33 tackles to Brisbane 16. 21 of those were in the first half alone. In football, the US and Mexico have submitted a joint bid to co-host the 2027 FIFA Women's World Cup. Against bids already submitted by Brazil, South Africa, and the joint bid by Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands. The US, uh, Mexico, and Canada are already set to co host the 2026 FIFA Men's World Cup. In sports biz, Manchester City is moving ahead with a US $373 million renovation of Etihad Stadium, including a capacity increase from 53,400 to around 61,000 seats on an upper tier on the north stand with a sky bar and a roof walk above, a a covered fan zone with food and drink outlets, a new club shop and museum, a 400-bed hotel, and an incubator for SMEs working with Man City, team owner City Football Group, and Etihad Campus Partners. In boxing, Ryan Garcia started boxing at the age of seven and became a 15-time U.S. National Amateur Champion, amassing an uh, amateur record of 230 fights with 215 wins and only 15 losses. Although American by birth and nationality, Garcia often carries both the U.S. and Mexican flags into the ring, as he will this weekend against uh, Javonta Davis, in their super light, uh, their lightweight fight in uh, Las Vegas. For TableOverSports.com, I'm Calden Kamea. Mahalo, vina'a, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all to Mas for all your love and support.